Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. My dear brothers and sisters, I hope you all are well, inshallah. If it's your first time on our channel, please make sure to subscribe and share. Today, our topic is a very important and intriguing topic. What is the Great War? While there are many many people in the world who are already expecting that there is going to be a great war and it will be comparatively even greater and more destructive than last two great war we have already had the first world war and the second world war today mankind live in what is known as the first lane where things are moving faster and faster. But our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, there is going to be akhiru zaman or end of time. And we know that we are living in the end of time. For example, he said, women will be dressed, but yet naked. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was speaking with his companion Mu'az ibn Jabal radiallahu ta'ala anhu and he said when Jerusalem is center stage then look to Yathrib and Yathrib will be in ruins. It means plain absolutely no rule in the world in full on desolation at that time. He said the next event that will occur will be a major event. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Kharabu yathriba khurujul malhama. Yathrib is in full on desolation. The great war will start. He went on to say, Wa khurujul malhamati fathul qustantiniyah. When the great war takes place, the next event to occur will be the conquest of Constantinople. Then he went on to say, After the conquest of Constantinople, the next event which will occur would be appearance of the Dajjal in human form. The Great War doesn't take place in a vacuum by accident. But rather, the Great War forms part of a sequence of event. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Isra, verse 58. <laughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warns and there is not a single town or city that will escape but we will destroy them before the end of the world. This is not Qiyamah. This is the end of the world before Qiyamah. Qiyamah is different things. They will be punished with that terrible punishment. This is inscribed in the book. Those are powerful words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Isra. Now we will turn to an amazing prophecy of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam pertaining the great war, the hadith is in Sahih Bukhari. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, لا تقوم الساعة حتى يحصل الفرات أن جبل من ذهب. The furat rivers uncover a mountain of gold. A mountain of gold will come out from underneath of the river. يقتتل الناس عليه فيقتل من كل مئة تسعة وتسعون and people will fight for that gold and 99% out of every hundred who will fight for that gold will be killed. So 
in that war, 99% of all the combatants will be killed. There has never been a war in human history in which 99% of all fighters have been killed. It's never happened. So that is the great war. Then Prophet said, وَيَقُولُوا كُلُّ رَجُولٍ مِّنْهُمْ لَعَلِّي أَكُونَ أَنَا الَّذِي أَنْجُوا And he said, each will say, I will be the one who will survive. So when the war is fought, no one is certain of what's going to be the outcome. But the believers must not touch the gold. Now we turn to an analysis of what kind of war it will be. It has to be a war with weapons of mass destruction. It can't be an conventional warfare. Only a war fought with weapons of mass destruction like nuclear weapons, thermonuclear weapons and other powerful mass killing weapons. We don't know. Allah and His Messenger knows best. This is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed listening about the Great War. Soon we will make more videos about the symbol of resurrection inshallah. Stay tuned for more videos by subscribing to our channel. Allah Hafiz.